Um, so to start off, we're actually going to do a really quick overview of reaving a five to one block and tackle pulley system that is a pretty standard use for tensioning long lines. Okay. And within a pulley tensioning system, there's a couple key components, um, you know, especially for this base, you know, we call it a base five to one. Um, we have our web locks. Um, over here we have a, a ram lock here. Um, two double pulleys. A rope brake. This is an um, Edelwood Eddy. Various connectors for the components. We have a small D shackle, twisted quick link, and a bow shackle here. And then obviously your rope too, which is going to be um, used within the pulley system. Okay. So the way I always try to tell people when you're building your pulley system, because, because it can be kind of confusing when you're first starting off, is imagine where the rope is going to come out or where the tail is going to come out of the entire system. So it's right after the break and then not where your tail is. Because from there, I find it most useful to kind of trace your way back um, following how the rope would want, run through the sheaves and the pulleys to back to, to the internal bucket where you connect um, your rope. Okay, so we're going to give it a shot here and hopefully I don't screw it up. Um, but we're going to use these two um, three inch SMC pulleys because um, we're going to figure we're building a, a big long line rig. Um, we're going to position them here it's fairly close together. This really helps me to visualize things. And then place your rope brake in the um, desired orientation that you're going to want. Okay, so I'm going to do it so I can see it, which is, might make it confusing for you. but. Um, I'm going to place it here because we can see on the eddy that the climber comes out on this side, the climbing rope. So this is the side that's going to take tension. And then the tail side um, comes out uh, on this side. Okay. So we're going to want that close to the becket. So it's going to be oriented about like that. And so if it's coming out of our eddy, then the first uh, piece of rope is going to actually go through here through this sheave. All right. So we'll just go ahead and trace it through. So it's coming out or it's going into the, I guess it would be the one on the bottom, this guy. So we'd want to make sure that parallels with the opposite pulley. So it's going to go in on, on the bottom sheave as well. Okay. And then switch over to the top because that's really all that's available. Make sure you got all your slack pulled out and everything too. It's getting a little messy. comes through. Whoa. Okay. And again, I like to keep it somewhat compact because then you're not pulling big um, rungs of rope all over the place. And it's just, just to build it. Okay. So then back to the top. And now we're ready to terminate at the becket. Okay. So then what I like to do is I'll use a smaller D shackle, actually put it on and I've been using a, a barrel knot um, for this termination just because it's fairly low profile and uh, pretty strong. So barrel knot comes in similar to tying a, like a double fisherman's knot, but just onto itself. Whoa. See if I can tie this knot. All right. A little bit of a tail coming out, and then I have this loop here. But the cool thing about the barrel knot is it cinches down. It's like a slip knot. So it actually creates a pretty small, compact knot. All right. That's looking pretty good. So we've got this built, and all we have to do is essentially put the um, rope into the brake. So remember our climber is the tension side. Wrap it around. Then close the device. Okay. And now I'm going to flip this up a little bit. So how this is coming out, I'm actually going to use a twist shackle to orient so that the, the lever here doesn't get in the way. It's actually cocked outwards 90 degrees. Okay. And this is one of the cool things about the uh, twisty shackle is that you can orient things 90 degrees from another component. All right. Stick it on there. Sometimes this combination can be somewhat of a tight fit. All right. 
So this is your five to one block and tackle pulley system. All right. And then this is going to be the rear end of the pulley system. This is going to be the front end. So this is where you're actually going to connect your, your web lock. And so here I have a ram lock um, with a looped up sling and a quick link. I can just attach and close. Okay, and then our webbing comes out here. And then this is where we connect to our tree anchor or our span set. So I'm going to use a, a bigger bow shackle here. This is a half inch Van Beast. All right. And some people like to put spacers on either side of the shackle so that the pulley doesn't kind of slop around like that. Um, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, so then, this is pretty much you know, your base rig. This is five to one block and tackle pulley system for tensioning slack lines. You know, and there's very variations of this. Um, you can use smaller pulleys, uh, more efficient pulleys, less efficient pulleys. You can deviate from this and do a six to one block and tackle pulley system, a nine to one block and tackle pulley system, and that's essentially adding additional pulleys in here. Um, and then also orient the brake in different positions. But this is a very, one of the most basic um, tensioning systems for, for tensioning long lines.